This smartphone right here is the Vivo Y53 S. It's a budget smartphone that comes with 8GB of RAM and can be expanded to 11GB of RAM. It has a full HD Plus display for your viewing pleasure, a 64 megapixel main camera that takes decent pictures, and a 5000mAh battery with a 33W fast charger. Opening the box, the first thing you'll see is the smartphone. The color I have is called Deep Sea Blue and it also comes in fantastic rainbow. It has a two-tone color, the bottom has a purple color while the top of the smartphone is black. Back to the box, it comes with a quick start guide manual, information and warranty card, a 33 watt fast charger, USB Type-C cable, and headphones. Now moving to the build quality, the Vivo Y53s has a plastic rear, plastic frame, and glass at the front. The front does come with a film screen protector pre-installed on it, which doesn't offer much protection, and I would definitely advise you get a plastic or glass screen protector just to be safe. Now is this smartphone waterproof? Well, no. No smartphone is 100% water resistant, but if you accidentally submerge the Vivo Y53s in water for some minutes, it should be fine. Now let's talk about the external features of this smartphone. The Vivo Y53s comes with a 3.5mm audio jack, a mic, a USB Type-C port, and a mono speaker. I really wish it had dual stereo speakers. For the sound quality, it isn't the loudest, but I can't really complain. Now on the right side is where you find the volume keys and the power buttons. The power button doubles as the fingerprint scanner, setting it up is fast and using it is faster. How fast? Well, it takes 0.24 seconds to unlock the smartphone. For the face unlock feature, it's also blazing fast and it works very well. Now moving to the top, you will find the secondary microphone and a SIM card tray. The Vivo Y53s can take two nano SIM cards and a memory card. Now moving to the red, the Vivo Y53s comes with three cameras, a 64 megapixel main camera a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth camera. It also comes with flash LED lights. Now switching to the front, it comes with a 16 megapixel selfie camera and for the display, the Vivo Y53s has a 6.5 inch full HD display with a resolution of 1080p by 2408 pixels. It's an IPS LCD panel with a 60 hertz refresh rate and for an IPS panel, the colors are decent. The panel is actually bright and consuming media on this device is enjoyable. For content consumption, I really wish it came with dual stereo speakers. Now for the performance, the Vivo Y53s comes with a MediaTek Helio G80 processor. It's a 12 nanometer processor that offers boosted clock speed, smooth performance, enhanced power efficiency. It's a budget chipset quite alright and is good for gamers and for people that do a lot of multitasking on their smartphone. Speaking of multitasking, the Vivo Y53s comes standard with 8GB of RAM and 3GB of the phone storage can be converted to RAM, giving it 11 GB of RAM. Now what can you do with 11 GB of RAM? Well, you can open an MX Excel sheet, you can play a game and make a Telegram video call all at the same time without any of the apps reloading in the background. That's quite impressive. In my opinion, the Vivo Y53s is the king of multitasking in its price segment. Now for those interested in the Antutu benchmark score of this device, here you go. The device scores an impressive 204K and for the Geekbench test, the Vivo y 53 s has a single core score of 372 and a multi-core score of 1273. Now for the gamers out there, the Vivo Y53s has a feature called Game Assistant. It optimizes the game for the best gaming experience. PUBG run at HD graphics and a high frame rate. The 60Hz refresh rate hinders the gaming experience on this smartphone. I recommend you change your graphic settings to smooth graphics and ultra frame rate to have a fighting chance to win. The gyroscope works on this smartphone but as you can see, <laughs> I can't really use it that much. Now moving on to Call of Duty, it played the game at medium graphics and high frame rate and the gameplay was alright. Now for the operating system, the Vivo Y53s is running Android 11 with Phone OS 11.1. The user interface is simple to use, simple to navigate and I like the looks because it reminds me of stock Android. Now moving to the camera department, the front facing camera of the Vivo Y53s is a 16 megapixel sensor. It takes decent pictures, you have more pictures captured due in the front facing camera of this device. It was a rainy day when I took this picture and it does a very good job in capturing my face and also capturing the cloud. Using the portrait shot mode, I got mixed results. The phone wasn't able to properly separate myself from the background. Hello guys, how are we doing today? As you can see, it's a rainy day. I'm using the front facing camera of the Vivo Y53s. It's shooting in 1080p, 30 frames per second. And what do you guys think about the video and audio quality? Coming out from the front facing camera of the Vivo Y53s. 3S.
Now switching to the rear camera, the 64 megapixel main camera is impressive, colors look natural and I can't really complain considering the price of this device. Portrait shots using the rear camera on this device is awesome. Hello guys, what's going on? And this is a video from the rear camera of the Vivo Wi-Fi 3S. It's shooting in 1080p, 30 frames per second which is the highest resolution and uh, what do you guys think about the video quality and the audio quality coming out from the rear camera of the Vivo Y? 53s Now moving to the battery department, the Vivo Y53 S comes with a 5000 mAh battery and that would easily last the entire day. What's impressive for me is the charging time. It takes 1 hour 8 minutes to charge this smartphone from 0 to 100% and the battery seems to last a long, long time. Now in conclusion, the Vivo Y53 S goes for 109,000 Naira or $207. The positives are it has a 64 megapixel main camera that takes very good pictures, it has a 5000 million per battery with fast charging and it would easily last the entire day and uh, what else it has 8 gigabyte of ram which can be expanded to 11 gigabyte of ram now for the negatives well the display is an ips lcd panel it has a 60 hertz refresh rate which looks slow if you're used to faster refresh rate and also i wish it came with the mediatek helio g85 processor considering the price of this device so guys that's my review of the vivo y53s what do you think about this device let me know in the comment section below now hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you guys in the next one valor signing out